So we first developed this system back in 2009, and it was after I attended a human critical care conference and first learned about human patient simulators. And we were very fortunate to get initial funding to make this happen through the Faculty Innovation and Teaching Program, um, which was hosted through Academic Technologies, which now has sort of become part of uh, the Center for Teaching Innovation here, the new CTI. So that, that sort of initial seed funding really was critical to getting us started. We, we wouldn't be here today if it hadn't been for that. So we started this project with CPR our training. That was kind of where the, the initial impetus was for this. Um, and, but since then, we've really expanded. So we use it to teach CPR. We use it to teach shock and resuscitation. Uh, we use it to teach about respiratory distress. And we also use it now for basic training, things like uh, learning how to sculpt or listen to the chest, listening to normal and abnormal heart and lung sounds. And then most recently, we've started using it in our communication training. So we have a, a class where the students come in and have simulated clients, so actors who come in and act as the client. And they learn how to interact with clients in stressful situations. So some of the situations that we put them in now involve having a patient who's very unstable, who they have to assess and figure out how to manage. At the same time, they're explaining to the client what they, what they need to do and getting permission for all of that. So it really is uh, sort of a, um, a capstone kind of experience where they can put all of the things they've learned together, the medical training as well as the communication training, and really be in a realistic situation where they have to multitask and handle all those things at once. The students Students love it. The students want more of it, um, and it, it is uh, the, it's a double-edged sword. So it's a it's a great learning experience for the students. It takes a lot of time. So if you take 120 students and you put them in a lecture hall and you lecture to them for an hour, then you feel like you've transmitted a bunch of information to a bunch of people in a short period of time, as opposed to bringing a group of 10 students into the sim lab and spending three hours having them practice things and, and rotate through and try things. So it's, it's not an efficient way to teach by any stretch of the imagination, but, but I think it fills a really critical gap. So I think the students love it. They want more of it. Um, it's, it's a matter of figuring out how to make that feasible in the time we have to work with them.